of course, we receive a lot of uh, samples for testing for uh, Gaucher disease. Uh, those are typically uh, for high-risk population screening uh, in community. Physicians are submitting samples when they have uh, suspicion of Gaucher disease. And then based on the publication, uh, we uh, really decided to look at also uh, additional enzyme deficiency like uh, ASMD, so ASM deficiency, acid sphingomyelinase deficiency. Uh, in terms of uh, Neiman pig disease, or ASMD, I should say, rather, uh, it has a very broad clinical uh, presentation and clin spectrum of the clinical presentation. Um, and it overlaps with many diseases, including Gaucher disease. Um, many of the clinical presentations are similar. Uh, so it, even though the, the prevalence and incidence of the disease, uh, it's estimated 1 to 250,000 uh, in a general population, it's probably underdiagnosed based on uh, or underestimated based on misdiagnosis. So our study uh, was on a sample population over 9,000 uh, cases suspected of a Gaucher disease, where we were testing for uh, GBA, enzyme deficiency, so that's enzyme deficient in a Gaucher disease, as well as for uh, ASM, uh, acid sphingomyelinase deficiency. Uh, and in our cohort, we have identified, um, of course, the Gaucher positive samples, which then have been sent for the uh, confirmation, 23% uh, out of this entire cohort, but then also 5% uh, of the samples were positive for ASMD. Now, not to be mistaken, that doesn't mean that the, the sample would have both deficiencies. That just means that in this cohort population, you have either one or. So there are sample deficient for the GBA or sample which would be deficient for ASM. But if you would not um, submit this, I would say, differential diagnosis, you, uh, as a physician, might submit a sample for it testing for Gaucher disease, uh, the enzyme activity would be normal, we would return the results and, and would mean that patients still would not be identified. So by opening the other channel for the ASM uh, deficiency testing, uh, we actually could help physicians to take a next step because of the similar clinical presentation. So then even though the GBA would be negative and we can identify, for example, ASM positive patient.